All right, it is the week of July 12th, 2022. And from Locus Magazine, I'm about to tell you about all the new science fiction, fantasy, and horror books that are being published this week. I have 17 fantasy titles to tell you about, nine science fiction titles, and three horror titles, all hitting shelves this week from various book publishers. Let's get at these fantasy titles. Why so many books now? It's summertime, and publishers have a few times of year that they really bring it, especially summertime and fall right before school starts. Why do they do it this way? Probably tradition, but this is summer vacation. That's when they feel like we've got time to read. I guess we know you read year round though. From author Elizabeth Kilcoyne, we saw Wake the Bones from Wednesday Books in hardcover ebook. This is a debut novel, a young adult dark fantasy novel. Kirkus calls it like this. 19 year old Laurel and her friends grapple with a curse on their town in the Southern Gothic debut. From best-selling writer Tad Williams, we saw Into the Narrow Dark out from Daw in hardcover, ebook, and audio. This is the third in Last King of Austin Ard series, sequel to the epic saga, what Locus called the fantasy equivalent of War and Peace, the Memory, Sorrow, and Thorn trilogy. From literary dark fantasy author Karen Hewler, we saw The Splendid City out from Angry Robot US in trade paperback, ebook, and audio. Sci-Fi Now described it like this. After deliberately and maybe just a little accidentally on purpose permanently transforming her despicably risible coworker Stan into a black cat, novice witch Eleanor finds herself excommunicated from her coven. From author K. Ming Chang, we saw Gods of Want from One World in hardcover, ebook, and audio. This is a collection of stories. Kirkus said this. Chang returns to the thematic territory of her debut novel, Bestiary, out in 2020 in these stories that unthread the tangled relationships between mother and daughter, aunts and cousins, siblings and lovers in the broadly defined Taiwanese immigrant community now living in California. Next up, science fiction. From Ned Bowman, we saw Venomous Lump Sucker, which sounds like a fun party guest of Venomous Lump Sucker. I mean, this is a near future SF novel coming out from Soho Press in hardcover, ebook, and audio about two people trying to preserve the most intelligent fish on the planet, a small, ugly bottom feeder. I suppose ugly and pretty are in the eye of the beholder. From award-winning science fiction author Becky Chambers, we saw A Prayer for the Crown Shy out from Tor.com in ebook and audio. This is a science fiction novella, the second in the Monk and Robots series, set in a future centuries after robots gained self-awareness and left their jobs for the wilderness. Which sounds like such a reasonable thing to do, especially if these are Asimov's laws of robotics type robots. We always imagine robots will focus on humans and taking over society, but what if the robots just want to mess around in the woods? Speaking of messing around in the woods, I love a good Beowulf retelling. There's just something about the way Grendel loves his mama that just does something for me. We saw a far future retelling of Beowulf this week from the talented Rich Larson called Ymir out from Orbit US in trade paperback, ebook, and audio. Yorick reluctantly returns to his homeworld when a vicious alien machine threatens his employer's minds. This is simultaneous with the Orbit UK edition. I'm gonna put this one with the SF, although it seems like it straddles science fiction and fantasy. Again, these distinctions can be subtle judgment calls. From author Zane Khaled, we saw Brother Alive out from Grove in trade paperback, ebook, and audio. This is a literary novel, I already told you it's got both SF and fantasy elements, about three boys, one with an imaginary double, adopted by a Staten Island imam who eventually visit a futuristic city in Saudi Arabia. A few horror titles up next. From Carol Goodman, we saw The Disinvited Guest out from Morrow in hardcover, ebook, and audio. This is a near future gothic thriller slash horror novel set years after the 2020 pandemic. And it turns out there's another new, even worse plague. From the prolific and acclaimed writer T. Kingfisher, aka Ursula Vernon, we saw the horror novella What Moves the Dead out from Nightfire in hardcover, ebook, and audio. This is a modern take on Poe's The Fall of the House of Usher. And from author Mark Idrotos, we saw The Haunting of Crimshaw Manor out from BHC Press in hardcover, trade paperback, ebook, and audio. This is a horror novel where a professor of paranormal studies and a group of students investigate a haunted manor. I'm sure everything goes well from there. Finally, we'll move even faster from here because there's still a ton of books to cover. From Natalka Burian and Park Row Books, we saw The Night Shift in hardcover, ebook, and audio, contemporary thriller slash fantasy novel. Jean, working two jobs, learns about secret shortcuts that can transport her through space and time, but only in one direction. From Europa Editions and David Musgrave, we saw Lambda in trade paperback, ebook, and audio, an SF novel about mild mannered aliens. From Level 4 Press and authors Tori Quinn and Marie Vibbert, we saw cyberpunk SF novel Megadeth in trade paperback, ebook, and audio about a bereaved mother who competes in a virtual reality gladiatorial game. 
from Orbit US and John Scavron, we saw The Wizard of Eventide in trade paperback, ebook, and audio. This is an epic fantasy novel, the third book in the Goddess War series, inspired by Russian legends. Also from Orbit US, we saw Alex White's August Kitko and the Mechas from Space in trade paperback, ebook, and audio. This is an SF space opera novel, the first in the Star Metal Symphony series. Jazz pianist Gus Kitko expects to be killed along with the rest of humanity when the robot vanguards arrive from space, but they turn out to be traitors trying to save humanity and want his help. Again, we can't predict how these future robots are going to feel and what their priorities are. What if we're wrong about the singularity, too? Anyway, we saw Where You Linger and Other Stories, a story collection by Bonnie Jo Stufflebeam out from Vernacular. From Blackstone and Alex Temblador, we saw Half Outlaw in hardcover, ebook, and audio. This is a magical realism novel about a biracial former foster kid on a cross-country motorcycle trip encountering family she never knew. From author Ryan Van Lone, we saw The Memory in the Blood out from Tor in hardcover, ebook, and audio. This is a fantasy novel, third and final in the Fall of the Gods series. From Juan Pablo Villalobos and publisher and other stories, we saw Invasion of the Spirit People in trade paperback, ebook, and audio, a novel with science fiction fantasy elements about a dude named Gaston just trying to get by as a new wave of immigration washes over his unnamed country, and he has a scientist son who believes human life may be the product of an alien attempt at colonization. Translated from the Spanish La Invasión de la Pueblo de Espíritu by Rosalind Carvey, originally published by Anagramma Barcelona in 2020. From Will Wiles, we saw The Last Blade Priest out from Angry Robot. This is a fantasy novel about a master builder forced to work for and spy on the league that just conquered his homeland. From Titan Books US and AC Wise, we saw Hooked in trade paperback, ebook, and audio. This is a fantasy novel based on characters from J.M. Barry's Peter Pan series, a sequel to Wendy Darling, set eight years later about what happened to Captain Hook after he escapes the dark thrall of Neverland. From Five Fathoms Press and Stephanie Burgess, we saw Touchstones in trade paperback, ebook, and audio. This is a YA collection of 16 fantasy stories, too new. From Crooked Lane and author PC Cast, we saw Into the Mist in hardcover, ebook, and audio. This is a fantasy novel about a post apocalyptic matriarchal society. From Enclave Escape and Sarah Ella, we saw The Wonderland Trials in hardcover, ebook, and audio. This is a young adult fantasy novel retelling of the story of Alice in Wonderland in the Curious Realities series. From Solaris US and Clay Harmon, we saw Flames of Mira in hardcover, ebook, and audio. This is a fantasy novel, the first in the Rift Walker series set in the harsh world of Mira, where three teens are determined to avenge their paranoid and brutal father's death. This is simultaneous with the Solaris UK edition. From best-selling authors W. Michael Gear and Kathleen O'Neill Gear, who both happen to be anthropologists, we saw Lightning Shell out from Forge in hardcover, ebook, and audio. This is a prehistorical novel, part of the North America's Forgotten Past series. From Holly James and Dutton, we saw Nothing But the Truth in trade paperback, ebook, and audio. This is a fantasy novel about Hollywood publicist Lucy Green, who gets a wish she might immediately regret. She can't lie at all, even to herself. From Viking and author Lena Crow, we saw Fire Season in hardcover, ebook, and audio. This is a feminist Western novel set in Washington territory in 1889, where a fire changes lives for a banker, a conman, and a woman who can see the future. From George Mann, we saw The Albion Initiative out from Tor in hardcover, ebook, and audio. This is a steampunk fantasy mystery novel, sixth in the Nubrian Hobbes series. From Page Street and author Joanna Ruth Meyer, we saw Wind Daughter in hardcover, ebook, and audio. This is a young adult fantasy novel, a companion to Echo North. From author Jesse Mihalik and Harper Voyager, we saw Eclipse the Moon in trade paperback, ebook, and audio. This is an SF novel sequel to Hunt the Stars. Bounty Hunter Key takes three weeks leave on Bastion Space Station only to have trouble follow at a fashion show meant to showcase collaboration between humans and Velovians. Finally, from Mia V. Moss and Underland Press, we saw Mai Tais for the Lost. In trade paperback, ebook, and audio, this is an SF noir mystery novella about Marrow Nightingale, a PI in an undersea city whose brother turns up dead in her closet. So that's all the books that we thought to tell you about. I think that'll keep you busy for like a week until we do this again. Do us a favor. When you're out in the world, if you happen to see a Name That Flavor contest at your favorite ice cream joint, see if you can come up with a clever alliteration like Lemony Locust Mag or Locust Maglicious, or maybe subscribe to Locust Mag's booktube channel. Yep, that's the ask, because we need all our readers to show the love by liking and subscribing.
And if you'd like to know more about Locus Magazine, we cover SF fantasy horror and YA books that are coming out. We do monthly book reviews, commentary columns by people like Cory Doctorow. We cover books written in English, books translated into English. We list all of the forthcoming titles from publishers so you know months in advance what's about to come down the pipeline. We interview authors, talk to artists, we report on writers' workshops and conventions, and the magazine has been doing that sort of stuff since 1968. Our readers include librarians, booksellers, professional writers, and serious readers, people who like to know about what's going on in publishing and what's about to happen next. Go check us out at our website at www.locusmag.com. You can subscribe to the print magazine. Locus is available in a digital edition, or you can donate to what we do via our Patreon or direct donation. We are a 501c3 nonprofit. Come back and see us again soon, and we'll be here next week with more new books.